Hey guys, it's Bo Beatty with uh, Bo and Kirsten's Backcountry Kitchen, hanging out with Randy's crew in the middle of the mountains, next to the lake. So we're gonna cook some Milanesa for you guys tonight. Hopefully you enjoy it. It's one of my favorite ways to cook and eat elk. I'm so glad I got one. We are so out of meat, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so one of the first steps you have is get everything laid out, make sure you're ready to go. And we're gonna use um, kind of a nice prime cut of elk. We're gonna use a rump roast. So first thing we gotta do is cut our elk into nice uh, quarter eighth inch thick slices. A quarter inch is about perfect. And then what we'll do is we'll get about five or six eggs and then we'll put them in a bowl and then we'll whip them up, uh, yolk and whites all together. And then inside the eggs, we're gonna put, we're gonna put one tablespoon of parsley, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we're gonna get uh, three um, little pieces of garlic, little teeth of garlic and we're gonna dice them up. Fresh garlic is best. And we're gonna mix all that up and put it into our eggs. Now once our eggs are ready to go, then we're gonna take all the pieces that we cut of our elk and we're gonna put it in the eggs. And ideally you like it to sit it in there, the elk to sit in the eggs for about 30 to 45 minutes. You don't have to do that. You can kind of just dip it and go right into your uh, breading if you want. I prefer to let it sit in there as long as possible. And then once you have all the meat inside the eggs, then you'll put some breadcrumbs on a plate, and then you put your meat from the, that are sitting in your egg batter. And you'll put it right into the breadcrumbs, both sides, and kind of pack down the breadcrumbs around the meat. And then, one, then you want to make sure you turn on your oil. And uh, I like to cook it in vegetable oil. That's kind of the traditional way of cooking this meal in in Argentina. And so you want to get your oil about 325 to 350 degrees, and then it cooks really fast, about four minutes per side, and you're ready to go. And so you just kind of want the, the breading and the meat to be a light brown. I like to cook it about medium, um, it's pretty ideal. So once your, uh, your milanesa is done being cooked, then you throw it on the plate, let it cool off, dry off the oil just a little bit, and you just put a little bit of dab of lemon oil on top, or lemon juice on top. That's kind of the traditional way of eating it. It's really good, like very tasty. What's the verdict? That's delicious. It almost tastes like, um, like steak parmesan. Like almost like <laughs> really? I don't know, like chicken parmesan, like some breaded like meat. It's really good. Well, there you have it, folks. That's how you cook uh, milanesa using elk meat. We really enjoyed it. I liked it. Hopefully, Michael and Marcus enjoyed it. So, if you want to see more of uh, recipes, backcountry ideas and cooking prep go to our wilderness our youtube channel go to wilderness ridge trail llamas and then look up llama life and you'll find us there we started a channel about uh, six seven months ago and uh, we're just putting stuff out there so hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you on the next episode